I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello, hello, hello to you, my dear friend. Welcome to another video brought to you by GFM United Prayer and Revival Ministry, the ministry that aims to take you to the house of the living God. I tell you, my friend, there is no better place that I would be than in the presence of God. There is no better place that exists in the whole universe than the place called the secret place, the presence of God. I tell you, my dear friend, in the presence of God, solutions to the hardest problems come. In the presence of God, even the most greatest and most creative ideas are birthed. In the presence of God, we receive life for our bodies, we receive a rejuvenation, we receive a recharge, we receive fresh strength, fresh energy to keep on going. This is why we should always seek as born again believers to practice the presence of God. This is why we pray daily so that we can get into the presence and experience more of God. Every time that you spend in the presence of God is a step closer to your destiny and any blockage of the enemy is removed. As you spend time in the presence of God, you get a step closer. My dear friend, today is Saturday and we're going to be praying special prayers so that you can receive peace. And I want to talk about peace that surpasses understanding. The Bible talks about peace that surpasses understanding and it's so amazing, it's so wonderful that this peace is only available to those who have submitted their lives to Christ. You see, this peace is not the kind of peace that you can get in the world. It's not a fleshly peace, it's not a carnal peace, it's a supernatural peace. It is peace that surpasses understanding. Now why is it called peace that surpasses understanding, my dear friend? It's called peace that surpasses understanding because it comes over you as a born-again believer in the times when you should be panicking. And other people look at you and they say, why are you at peace when you should be panicking? You're in a situation where it should be the end, but you're so comfortable and at peace. It almost reminds me of Jesus when he was in the boat with the disciples and there was a storm around him and he was in the boat sleeping and the disciples woke him up and they were panicking. They said, aren't you afraid that we're going to die? And he woke up and he rebuked the storm and it stopped. In the same way, my dear friend, peace that surpasses understanding is supernatural peace that comes over you in the moments that you should be panicking, that just reassures you that God is going to see you through. Today I want to pray for you that you'll have supernatural peace. Maybe you're at a dead end in life. Maybe you're at a situation where you think that you can't make it through. Maybe you're at a situation where you feel like it's the end. Today we're going to pray special prayers and you shall receive peace. Maybe you haven't been able to sleep at night because you've been worrying too much about so many things. Today we're going to pray and you will receive peace. You will receive peace and rest from God. Rest and peace comes from God. Rest and peace is a gift to those who put their trust in God. Today my dear friend, put your full and complete trust in God and you will receive rest and peace that surpasses understanding. In saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Take your cell phone, your device. Just go somewhere private where you can pray, where you can seek God. And even as you go there, my dear friend, begin by lifting up praises to God. As the praises go up, the blessings of God will come down and God will touch and change your life forever. In saying that, let us begin to praise Him. Praise Him in your own words. Father, You are our God and we just praise You. We thank You for Your presence. We thank You for Your power. We thank You for Your love that surrounds us at all times. We thank You for Your grace the grace that is available in Christ, the grace that is available through the finished work of the cross to all those who choose to believe in Jesus as your Son, our Lord and Savior. We thank you for the power of your Holy Spirit. We give you praise, O oh God, for all that you do. We give you praise that it's another day. It is another day and we are grateful for another day. Some people didn't receive this opportunity but we did and we can seek you today. Father, we give you praise. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We lift up your name. You alone are worthy of all praise. You alone deserve all the glory. You alone deserve all the honor, Lord. Be glorified and be lifted up today, Lord, even in this place. Even in this place, Lord, receive all the glory. In the place where my dear friend is watching, receive all the glory. Receive all the honor, receive all the praise. 
Lord, today as you move and touch my dear friend and you give my dear friend peace that surpasses understanding, receive all the praise, receive all the glory. May the name of Jesus be lifted up. May my dear friend come closer to Jesus. May my dear friend understand and know that deliverance, true and proper deliverance, comes through the Lord Jesus Christ. And to him be all the glory, all the honor and all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern the presence of God. Now we're going to go into a time of prayer. I want to pray for you specifically so that wherever you are watching this, you'll receive the peace of God. Now I'm going to begin to pray for you as the Holy Spirit leads me. And even as we go into a time of prayer, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do is say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place where I'm watching. I welcome you in my surroundings. I welcome you in my life. Come and teach me. Come and help me to pray and to seek Jesus. Come and help me to put my trust in Jesus and come and glorify King Jesus in my life. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, my dear friend, let us begin to pray. Father, thank you. Thank you that right now, my dear friend is receiving peace. Not just normal peace, but supernatural peace. Peace that surpasses understanding. In whatever situation that my dear friend is going through, Lord, I thank you that your peace, your blanket of peace is just overshadowing my dear friend right now. I thank you that in whatever situation my dear friend might be facing in this present moment, in this present time, I thank you that your peace is just surrounding my dear friend and helping my dear friend to think clearly. Lord, right now, wherever there's any confusion, let that confusion be bound up and cast out by fire and by force. Lord, wherever there's any anxiety and worry, let it be removed out of the life of my dear friend and let my dear friend receive total and complete peace right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wherever there's any evil spirits, Father, I pray that those evil spirits will be bound up. Lord, whatever that situation is that's causing my dear friend to be in a state of worry, in a state where they can't rest at night, Lord, I pray that you will deliver my dear friend from that situation. Intervene divinely, bring a divine change for the better. Lord, let us go to greater glories even as we seek you. And even as we pray daily, let my dear friend receive more and more and more of your peace that surpasses understanding. Not the carnal peace, but supernatural peace. Peace that comes from you. Peace that the world can't give us, but only Christ can give us. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Right now, wherever my dear friend needs a miracle from you, do a miracle, Lord. Deliver my dear friend. Let this peace that fills my dear friend's heart right now be a sign of the miracle that you're going to do in my dear friend's life. Let this peace that fills my dear friend's heart right now be a sign of the healing that you're bringing over my dear friend. Let this peace that you're going to give my dear friend right now be a sign that my dear friend is coming out of a state of unemployment and is going to receive a job. Let this peace that my dear friend received right now be a sign that my dear friend is going to be promoted in life and they will not stagnate in their career. My dear friend, your dear son, your dear daughter, whoever they are, distance is not a barrier for you. As you overshadow them with peace, let it be a sign to them that they will receive a promotion and they will not stagnate anymore in that career. In that business, let this peace be a sign that that business is turning around. Lord, let this peace be a guiding light as to which way to go. Let us have supernatural peace in the areas that you want us to go. And Lord, even as we follow through with what you want us to do, give us massive progress. Give us the grace to keep on going. Give my dear friend, your dear son, your dear daughter, whoever they're watching, give them the grace to keep on going and to never give up. And Lord, let my dear friend who's watching this video be successful in all that they do so that they may go to greater glories and not be held back by anything. I pray this in Jesus name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, you are blessed. You are blessed going in. You are blessed coming out. As it is weekend, as it is Saturday, may you receive rest for your body. May you receive rest 
and strength so that you can be recharged for another week that God will give us. May you be protected wherever you go and may the grace of God go with you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, in saying that, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. Until tomorrow, shalom and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, Shalom and goodbye.